so today I'm gonna make alcoholic rice balls in Vietnamese they're called gum ru. I think I did it one other time but I don't think I did it correctly so it didn't taste all that great so we're gonna try it again today because it takes a few days to ferment and I have plenty of time right now so yeah let's get started very basic recipe I kind of got from my mom so it's gonna be two cups of sweet glutinous rice if you're looking for it either like yao nip or uh, glutinous rice or sweet rice and then you want to really rinse it out rinse it and clean it Two cups of water, so it's just one for one sticky rice. And we're just going to let that cook. Alright, next we have these like yeast balls. I don't know what kind of yeast they are. I've been looking online, but it says Ming Ru. You can find these at like your local Asian market. Each of these balls, we're going to smash them up and then uh, put them through a sieve. I always think like four little yeast balls per cup of sticky rice. How am I gonna smash this? Ah, soup spoon, let's see. Soup spoon, let's see if that works. Oh yeah, works great, you can see here. Smash it with a hammer. Does anyone know Emperor's New Groove? She always says that, she's like, well smash him with a hammer. I love smashing shit. I, I should put a mortar in this bowl. All right, so. The sticky rice is cooked. Actually, looks delicious. And you also wanna make sure you let it cool for about 10, 10 minutes. Now I'm gonna take the crushed yeast, sprinkle this, and let me do the sticky rice. I just really wanna mix it in. to be a little bit sweeter so I'm gonna add some sugar and if it's anything like bread where like sugar kind of feeds it I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of sugar whoops it'll already be pretty sweet naturally just with the fermentation but why not add a little bit okay so we mix in the yeast just make sure to get it like evenly distributed in the rice I think most people probably would have like spread it out on a pan to let it cool and then like sprinkle it on top which was Probably a better way, but I don't like dirtying up a bunch of dishes, so that's just what I did. We'll see what happens. What I have here is one cup of water, lukewarm water, with um, one tablespoon of salt mixed up, and we're gonna use this to wet our hands because we are gonna get up in this and make some balls. Just roll it. Ooh. Now, you really wanna try and get them as tight as possible because the last time I made them, they kind of turned all separate. It just like fell apart. Probably something I did wrong. Because my mom's always stayed perfectly round. There we go. Let's put this into a bowl here. It's super soothing. Therapeutic. Boop. Boop. Can you hear it? I'm gonna get closer so you can hear it, so. Is this ASMR? Oh my God, look at my eyeliner. I'm gonna make these bigger. I'm gonna actually squish them together because last time I made layers, I put balls on top of each other and it didn't work out well. Maybe we'll make bigger balls and that way they're just one layer. I wanna make enough though because I do wanna bring some of these to my friends, put this together. Ooh, mmm, it already kind of smells like it. I don't know if you've ever had like rice wine, any kind of rice wine, that's what it ends up smelling like, but like a little sweeter. So love that smell. Also because that smell always reminded me that it was like a family gathering. So if I smelled it, I knew that we were going to have some sort of like gathering in a few days because my mom would always make it when the whole family got together. Whenever I do things like this with the sounds and squishiness, I think like oh, someone is going to jerk off to this. 
I know, like, reading those comments, like that girl, bread girl, who like rolls her face in like bread. Like people are like, oh, I totally like whacked off to this. I'm like, God damn it. Nothing is sacred. But I guess whatever. If it makes you happy. Django, like where am I gonna put it? Right there. All right, and then you're supposed to take a little bit of the salt water and just drizzle a little bit over each one. I'm not sure what this does. One of those weird things where you just like follow recipes that your parents give you, not really knowing why, but I imagine the salt water maybe helps with any possible bacteria growth, keeping it from molding. All right, there's that. I'm just going to cover this up. Okay, so it's gonna go into the oven, just like any kind of warm spot, for about three days. I'm gonna write a little note to my roomie so they don't accidentally cook it. All right, so just putting a little note on the oven. Right? Oh, no, I haven't had it either. You've never had this? No, no like the fermented rice? Joji? Yeah. You've had it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I know, know the flavor. I'm really super anti alcohol though. Oh, uh, okay. Like, I, I was not allowed to have these when I was young. Because of alcohol? What do you no, think, Elena? My mom's side, like, doesn't like, drink at all or anything. Oh. Oh. Dude, my dad is like. I feel like that. Lo he's well drinking. I've had a version of this. Really? They yeah, probably have this in Frosty. Yeah, I think they do. Mm. All right, okay, okay. But listen, the, the last time I was the best man for somebody, his family fermented this shit for like 30 years. What? what? They were. He was like. He was like, bro. My dad's got a, a, a jar of whiskey downstairs in the basement for when I get married. And then That's when he announced, pressure. when he got engaged. I was like, bro, we're gonna drink that whiskey? He's like, turns out it's just that rice thing. Oh, <laughs> and no. I was like, wait, what? I flew all the way back. No. <laughs> well, tell me what you think since you've had it before. Yeah, that's that stuff. That's that flavor. Okay, cool. What, what made you try to do this? Well, or, or my... Do it. I'm sorry. What made you do this? <laughs> well, because of quarantine, I got bored. And then my mom sent me a whole box of stuff. And like... I think I was just like nostalgic because I just suddenly remembered the smell because I never got to eat it. So. Not what I was expecting. What were you thinking? I thought it would be like sweet. Sweeter. Sweeter. But yeah. it's more alcoholic than it. You know what we used to do with these? We used to mix this in with like those little, those little, you know, tongue run. Those little like, yeah, yeah those little like, like glutinous rice balls. You stuff it with like black sesame. Yep. No, like those mung bean things. So traditionally, my mom said you would eat it with mung bean mm -hmm. and um, maybe some of the crispy soy rice, and you put it in there and you eat it with that as well. So. Oh, these feel very Ooh, does it feel really alcoholic? Too? Well, I don't drink that much. <laughs> really? I'm like, I this feel feels like a lot. Like <laughs> That's funny. This feels sweeter to me than what I'm used to. I'm like, this is like, this is probably suitable for like, for like whiskey. But how do you make it alcoholic? I, it's just the yeast it ferments. Oh, okay. So, well, so then it was good enough. Dude, it was more so, than good enough. It's amazing. Like, well, you went like full ball, like full bite. Why are you not supposed to go full bite? I don't know. I, just, I mean, like you're, you have no fear, right? Like, I think people when good. they try things, you like it. Yeah. Yay! It's definitely sweet. It's sweet. Yeah. It's sweeter it's than like I think a... alcoholic, but I think one of yeah. my friends felt the alcohol more. Maybe I'm a drinker? <laughs> I didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs>